Well, hey there, Papper Jerks. Let's talk about the humidifier chamber and why is this sucker bone dry in the morning? First, let's do a quick thumbnail. We'll use one of those. Thanks for being a part of that. Having a dry humidifier chamber in the morning doesn't sound like a big deal. In fact, a lot of times I see people talking about maybe is there a way to make the humidifier tank bigger? Can we just like really supersize this thing? Now adding this simple adaptation, you never have to fill up your humidifier tank ever again. That's actually skirting an issue that is much larger than just having a humidifier tank empty. It's actually a much bigger deal than you think. Let's talk about CPAP and the purpose of it. Do this in practically every video. CPAP inflates your upper airway, holds everything open. Any obstruction that's gonna fall in the way cause you to wake up, it creates pressure that opens that up. You have essentially a closed circuit. Now I understand you have ventilation on your mask that should be blowing out to get rid of CO2, things like that, expired air, but your machine has a little bit of flow to compensate for that. So essentially you're just like a big old car tire. The air in the tire is holding up the weight. If we're using a nasal mask, let's go ahead and use the Brevita because I have it readily available. Now, if my mouth is closed and I'm just breathing, I have air venting out of this hole right here, all's good, right? However, one of the biggest problems I see when I'm doing my pap therapy analysis at AXG Sleep Diagnostics, always find a way to work it in. Boom! If your mouth is closed, you have a closed circuit. However, if I'm sleeping and I do that kind of stuff or just a simple now all of the air that's inside of that closed circuit, which includes a humidifier chamber, all of that air is gonna be escaping into the environment, which includes all of the humidity, all of the moisture that's inside of your tank. So this is one of the dirty little secrets of the CPAP industry is people say when you have a dry mouth, oh, increase humidity. That's gonna solve everything. If you increase the humidity, you can't get dry. That's not true. You can increase the humidity all you want. In fact, many of the people I'm doing these consultations with have their humidity turned up all the way and they still have dry mouth and their tank is totally empty in the morning. The solution to this is actually mildly counterintuitive. We'll get to that part later. The solution though, if you are using a nasal mask or a nasal pillow mask, and your tank is running dry, the solution is to tape your mouth or do something to keep your mouth closed. Now, let me show you a quick example of this from Oscar. This is me just the other night. I purposefully did not tape my mouth and you can see the results. There are tons of mouth leaks. Every time the leak rate increases in a jagged fashion like this, that is me opening my mouth and guaranteed every single time that's occurring, I'm waking up. And I'm waking up with a very dry mouth. Now, if I tape my mouth closed, that doesn't happen. Now, the product I use is this. It's called Cover Roll Stretch Tape. You can actually get two rolls of it on Amazon right now for 11 bucks. It's crazy cheap. It's anywhere from 10 to 13 bucks. Comes in long rolls. You want this stuff because it is two inches in height. Now, this stuff is just sticky enough, but not too sticky. Always recommend dog earing a corner for quick, easy removal. And I cut it into strips such as this that extend roughly a quarter of an inch to half an inch beyond the corner of my mouth. I do not cut any slits in the middle of it. Now taping your mouth, what it'll do is it'll keep everything a closed system. So what could possibly go wrong at this point? It's a closed system. Lefty said if you tape up your mouth, it says it's a closed system. Well, how come I'm still having problems? The only problems you're gonna have if you tape your mouth are two things. If you continue to use the humidifier, what I found that does is it moistens the back of the tape and it causes it to peel off. So if you start to tape your mouth, I implore you just to give it a try, turn the humidifier off for the first couple nights. If at that point you're feeling rested but you still have dryness, go ahead and increase the humidity, put it on manual, increase to one, no higher than two when you're on super high pressures. I live in a super dry climate and that's exactly what happens. Actually, to be honest, I stopped using humidification altogether. I don't even need it. And I am personally at 11 or 12 at night. So we discussed that humidification can actually ruin your mouth leak and make your mouth drier. What else could possibly go wrong? If you're on the wrong pressure, and by that I mean if you're pretty much on any level of APAP therapy, you're probably on the wrong pressure. Check out my videos on APAP and why I think it sucks for the reasons why. But if you're on the wrong pressure, 
you're still going to be potentially, we're, we're talking about under pressure, you're going to be gasping for air. You're still going to be under breathing. And every now and then you're going to want to go and take a deep breath in. And if you have tape on, rip, off it comes. And you're back to square one. Now everything is venting in the environment, dry mouth, you wake up tired, you say CPAP sucks. When in fact, it's mouth leaking that sucks. Well, Jason, that's super easy. Mouth leaking? I'm just gonna switch to a full face mask, no sweat. Ah, uh, here's what happens. So, full face mask, anything that covers the nose and the mouth. Just because it comes up over the nose doesn't make it a, a full face mask, even though that is. It has to cover the holes of your nose and your mouth, so this one fits the bill. This is an Avora full face mask. Covers the nose, covers the mouth. So, I'm covering my mouth, everything should be good, right? Well, what happens when I start to relax especially during REM sleep and my jaw relaxes and falls back. All of a sudden now that's being reported to me as, hey, my full face mask doesn't fit. It always starts leaking at the bottom all during the night. And my humidifier take is totally empty. The solution to that is obviously not taping because you're using a full face mask for some reason. You probably have chronic congestion or your deviated septum, so you need a full face mask. So in that case, or possibly even have a bodacious beard that you just don't want to shave. So how do we prevent jaw dropping that is resulting and causing you to have no water in your humidifier and a dry mouth? What we do is you use a soft cervical collar or something like a chin strap. Now, if you use a chin strap, I really, really highly recommend Knight's Bridge as it pulls up under the chin and lifts straight up. If you do buy it from them, I do have a, a discount code. It's like Lanky15 or Lanky10 or Lanky20, I can't remember. Uh, but they'll give you a little bit of money off if you do that. The other thing that works really well is a soft cervical collar. You can just buy this from Rite Aid, Walgreens, CVS Pharmacy, any of those kind of like drug stores. What it does is it creates bulk, keeps your chin up, and it prevents it from falling back. No mask leak, no dry mouth, no air circulating through. So can you use humidity with a full face mask? Absolutely, it doesn't really matter. It's just gonna, it's gonna be in there anyway. Uh, if you start seeing condensation in your mask, it's probably humidification level is a little too high. But if you know for a fact that the humidification does not cause your tape to peel up, if you decide to do that, by all means, keep doing it. Do you have to use distilled water in this? No, that's hella false. That's really false. Now this one right here, I did not use any of that. You can see the problem with it though. I don't know if you can pick that up. There's some mineral deposits in there. That's from the water being baked down and all those minerals are left in there. If you wash this out every morning, you empty it and you start with fresh water, that ain't gonna happen. Uh, excuse me, Jason. Excuse me, Jason. Are you gonna get to the part where this video is sponsored by CPAPsupplies.com? Uh, yeah, we can go ahead and talk about that right now. This video is sponsored by CPAPsupplies.com. Check them out. They sell all kinds of CPAP accessories, masks, things like that. Even, uh, excuse me, Jason. Do they sell humidifier tanks? Yeah, I was just gonna get there. They sell humidifier tanks for whatever machine you have. Excuse me, Jason. Um, hem, hem. Do they also sell those little caps that go on the end of the CPAP machine if you don't want your humidifier tank in there? I don't know, but you can certainly check that out under the accessory tab. Look for a uh, resume humidifier cap covered thing. Jason, for someone who's sponsored by CPAPsupplies.com, you sure don't seem to know the inventory that I wear. Yeah, I don't like exactly study it. The whole point of an advertisement is to get people to go to the website and take a look around, okay? I don't have to be an expert on everything they have. I think the people at CPAPsupplies.com, Jason, might disagree. You might want to- Okay, we've had enough of you, thank you. Hey, if you do shop at CPAPsupplies.com, just know they have several great things, their loyalty rewards program, 30-day mask guarantee, and they will match any price on the internet. But that's not gonna be an issue because you're gonna use discount code LEFTY20 or whatever discount code they have visible in huge banner form on the front of their website. Gerald, come here, I can't find the banner. That's where they always have the best deals. If you're not liking that deal, Lefty 20 always works. Check out the sponsor of this channel, cpapsupplies.com. Now, do you wanna see what happens when you do tape your mouth using the exact same mask setup? This is what it should look like. This is what it should not look like. Any questions? Papper people, thank you so much for watching. Leave your comments in the comment section down below. So like and subscribe, all that stuff. It really helps out my fledgling channel. If you wanna have a pap therapy analysis with me, check it out at axgsleepdiagnostics.com.
And do me a favor, if you're shopping Amazon, use my Amazon affiliate link. I earn on all qualified purchases. Other than that, have a great night. Bye. Thank you to all watching, but an extra thick <coughs> thanks butter to Doug Toombs, Jason Georgiades, Patricia Espalong, Sarvesh Joshi, Stuart Hetherington, Mona Swaringen, Chung Tu Chen, Edward Steiner, and Shannon Kerr, and another slightly less thick thanks buddy to all the other YouTube members, Patreon supporters, and other stuff. <laughs> <laughs>